Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. All right, so welcome aboard, everyone. Dolores, good to see you. And Ayansi, good to see you. And then Mr. Hello. 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 Hola, Dolores. Hello, hola. Buenas noches. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. And then we see, and then we see the man in the shadow over there, you know, driving the, the you know, the transportator. <laughs> you may say, so I got, I got no choice, all right? But here we go. <laughs> all right. So here we go. So. All right, so in this class, uh, we try to be punctual, okay? And that's why, due to punctuality, right now it's eight o'clock. So, it's eight o'clock. So, let's begin, right? Let's begin. Okay. So, welcome everyone. This is uh, the second class of the third week. All right. So uh, we've been together for two weeks already, okay? And I can see uh, that you uh, that you are doing your best, okay, to be here. You have responsibilities, you have family, children, job, everything, right? But uh, you do your best to be here and I really appreciate that, okay? So thank you for being here. And right now we have six participants. So Eduardo, Mr. Balta, Gonzalez, Catherine, Dolores, Anayansi, and then Raul over there. So hello, sir. And today we will start with the word of the evening or the word of the day, right? The, uh, the, the activity is other words, I'm sorry, other ways to say. Significa otra forma de decir las cosas. All right? So that's the name of the activity. And over here, we have one, two, three, like six or seven options. Okay. So we have like five or six choices. Cinco o seis elecciones. All right? I'm not fond of. Okay? Esto significa no disfruto o no soy fanático de. You can say, I'm, I'm not a fan of football. I'm not a fan of going out. I'm not a fan of uh, pizza or Chinese food. Something that you are not, that, that you don't like to do, you, you can say, I'm not fond of, okay? Fond means disfrutar. Esta palabra significa, F-O-N-D, significa disfrutar. Okay, entonces literalmente es. So it's a literal translation, you say, uh, no disfruto de, all right? I'm not fond of, uh, let's see, um, going to the mountains, you may, you may say. Or I'm not fond of uh, hot weathers, right? Or I'm not fond of going to San Miguel, right? Because it's too hot. You can say that, right? Algún migueleño me va a decir de lo que se pierde. I disagree, you know? <laughs> Ahí sí vamos a discrepar. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two, I'm not a big fan of, all right? Literal translation, traducción literal, no soy fanático de. Literal translation, you may say, I'm not a big fan of Alianza or Aguila or I don't know, uh, Fast. Or you can say something, I'm not a big fan of, uh, I don't know, drinking, right? Or drinking coffee, you can say, okay? So something that you don't like. O la otra cara de la moneda, right? So the other side of the story. Podría ser, I am a big fan of. O sea, a mí me gusta. I'm a, I am a big fan of. Or I'm a big fan of. Yes, yeah, sir. Sorry. 
Yes. <laughs> now this is my first one, but with two uh, spoons of, of sugar. Okay. <laughs> it's only the, the first one for, for the evening. The first one. <laughs> nice. Ya, ya, ya voy a llegar a donde está usted, Raúl. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there. Okay. Number three. I'm not really into. And we always do a top three. Siempre hacemos como un top three. Yo les digo, ¿verdad? Y esta para mí sería el top one. Si usted quiere decir, a mí no me gusta o me desagrada o no soy fanático, diga, I'm not really into. Y si va a decir lo contrario de que si usted está apegado, por ejemplo, le gusta la, la música, you can say, I'm into music. I'm into sports. I'm into exercises. Okay. I am into, ¿verdad? Es, me gusta, ¿verdad? Tengo, como de, decimos casualmente, no sé, tengo clavazón, dice la gente. Sometimes people say that, etc., etc. Tengo afición a people. I am into. O sea, en, en la número tres, from top to the bottom, lo que les digo es, usted puede decir, I'm not really into, no me gusta, no soy fanático, ¿verdad? No soy partícipe, etc. Y, y si lo quiere decir en positivo, como que usted sí, ¿verdad? I, I'm into English. Me gusta el inglés, ¿verdad? O, o, ahorita estoy metido en esto, en el inglés. All right. The next one, I'm not big on. Igual. I'm not crazy about. Esto, ¿verdad? I'm not crazy about. Muy buena frase. It's not for me. You say, no, sorry, but that's not for me. All right. So it's not for me. You may say coffee. It's not for me, right? Okay. And um, so you can use this one as well. And it's not my ten. That one, you can use it, but it's not my thing, you can say, all right? It's not my thing. Like, you can say, watching movies, uh, it's not my thing, all right? Watching movies. Dicen la acción, o dicen movies, or horror movies uh, are not my thing, okay? Oh, uh, going to bed late, not my thing, all right? You can say that, all right? Et cetera, et cetera, over there. Eh, hagamos un top three, ¿verdad? This is me, all right? This is me telling you, pero usted puede elegir las que le parezcan. So I would say, uh, for me, a top three would be number two, uh, it's not for me, and number three, it's not my ten, all right? That means that now you have four different ways to say, no me gusta o me desagrada alguna cosa. Y... Como aquí vamos a ir uh, like the extra mile, so go the extra mile, pongámoslo en positivo. Si no le gusta, lo, lo contrario es, a usted le agrada, le parece, etc., etc. Entonces, if it's in negative, you, you, the way you should say it is, uh, pasémonos en el top three solamente para que aprendamos por lo menos algo, ¿verdad? No los dejo abrum, abrumados, ¿ok? Va a decir, I mean to... Si usted le gusta o está metido en algo, como si le gusta la música. Por ejemplo, Raúl can say, I'm into uh, the guitar, or I'm into uh, playing the guitar. You can say that, right? Yes, or the, the keyboard, right? Yes, you can say that. Or number two, it's not, or you can say, uh, playing the, or the guitar is for me, or it's my thing, right? You can say that. Okay, como que me gusta, ¿verdad? Es, es, mi, es mi, mi afición. Ayúdenme, por favor, con sinónimos que decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Es mi cosa, es mi afición, es... Right? Help me out, please, over here. Formas de decir como que es su salsa. Es su salsa. That's what we would say, right? That one. All right? That one. Hoy sí le gané, Raúl. <laughs> como le de ayer, ¿verdad? Pegarle, como pegarle un bolo, ¿verdad? <laughs> I remember that one. Okay? Please use this. All right? Use them. Okay? Use them. So... Uh, let's continue over here. Now, yesterday, this is the last thing that you completed in groups of three. And today you will uh, help me uh, match this. You know, the conversation was between Linda and Chris. Okay. What was the context? It's about apartments, about houses. All right. And then what you should do is, lo que usted debe, de, debió haber hecho es, write do or does, and then the verb over there, if it's a question. If it's a response, or if it's an answer, si es una respuesta, you just uh, write the uh, short answer, 
yo le digo, ok, uh, uh, do you take a shower every day? Se baña todos los días, ¿verdad? Aunque estuvo el frente frío. You say, yes. Solo me dice, yes. O solo me ve la cabeza, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O, 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 o me ignora, ¿verdad? So you may say that. So you may ignore me. So it's up to you. Uh, fácilmente dice, yes. Right? Or you can say, yes, I do. Para confirmar, ¿verdad? Sin enfatizar. All right? Yes, I do. O si dice negativo, no, I don't, ¿verdad? Me baño cada dos días. <laughs> ok. Yeah, don't do it, pues. So, or no, I don't. Ok. Respuesta corta, usted dice, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Y así me quiere decir que se baña y se echa cinco perfumes, dos, tres jabones, uno, two shampoos, uno, three soaps. That is up to you. Esa es extra information. All right? Uh, so, uh, who would like to help us share? Let's see the part of Chris. ¿Quién nos ayuda con la parte que le correspondía a este señor Chris? Esto no lo pude, no lo pude repasar con ustedes. I, I, I didn't have the chance to review this with you yesterday. So right now I think it's the best opportunity for you to, you know, help me over here. Yes, Raúl, you want to say something, sir? Um, no, I don't. I live in a house. All right. We're going to try to do as a conversation this. Okay. So somebody else will help you, you know, do the conversation. So I need one more volunteer. Okay. So in other words, you will role, role play. Va a ser un role play. All right. Un role play. Okay. Un role de, de papeles. So either a lady or another gentleman that can help us do Linda, please. Anybody? Just raise your hand, please. All right. La política de esta clase es haga, haga la, uh, la práctica y después puedo dar yo correcciones if necessary. All right. So that's, you know, that's, uh, that's my policy or that's my philosophy. Eh, Alguien se anima? Somebody says yes over here. ¿Verdad? Para que avancemos. Porque this, this, this was yesterday, ¿verdad? Para que avancemos. All right. Um, okay, in that case, I'm going to choose. All right, so I'll be choosing right now, if you don't mind. Um, I don't know, uh, Claudia or Flor or Rocio, if you say yes over there. Otherwise, I'll do it myself, all right, with, with Raul. Okay, so let's do that then, Raul. I'll be Linda, okay, and you'll be Chris. We're good? Okay. All right, so uh, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Uh, does he have a yard? Yes, he haven't. Sorry, sir. Uh, uh, yes. no, you, you say yes, he does, sir. Yes, he does. Okay. Yes. That sounds nice. Uh, do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Um, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have uh, many bedrooms? Yes, it is. Yes, it does. Because uh, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh -huh. yes, it does. Uh -huh. And then? Um, Is that four? Uh, yes, it has fours. It has four, right? All right. And then do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Thank you so much. Now, uh, thank you, Raul. Now, listen up, please, everyone. I'm going to say the, the conversation for you. And then you're going to just check it out if it's correct. Okay? So here we go. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does he have a yard? Yes, he does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many, many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has 
four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm very lucky. Ok. Eh, recuérdense que cuando ustedes preguntan, en, cuando hacen con you, siempre va a ir el do. Always. And it's like that. Ok. Aquí siempre va a ir el do. All right. Always. Cuando es tercera persona, ya sea que sea una casa, ok, aquí, ¿verdad? O an apartment, o el chucho, si usted me permite decirlo. Jingo. All right. D yeah. Jingo, right? Eh, va a poner, does your house, y el verbo no va a cambiar. Ok. Por eso aquí dice, does your house have many bedrooms? Y pregunta, uh, respuesta corta, short answer is, yes, it does. Y luego aquí, cuando usted confirma, dice, he has four. O sea, solamente le preguntaron. O sea, su casa tiene muchos, uh, muchas habitaciones. Usted le dice, sí. Y luego yo le digo, tiene cuatro, de hecho. Um, do you have your own bedroom? Own significa propio. Ok, own. Ok. Yo les puedo hacer la pregunta, do, do you have your own house? Y este, esta se pronuncia como el, el own de, de, de encima, ¿verdad? Como que le pongo, como que pongo el celular en mi mano, ¿verdad? Es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Own. Ok, own. Es lo mismo que poner OWN, que es propio. All right, own. All right. Yes, uh, I do. I'm really lucky. Ok, there we go. Uh, so let's continue over here. Remember last time when you completed an activity que era como lo cuando sale en el periódico, in the newspapers, como que era find the difference. Que uh, the, I think is the sofa was on the desk and then the TV uh, was on the window. Remember that exercise that you did? ¿Se acuerdan de ese ejercicio que hicimos? Que eran unas imágenes, like find the, the stuff over there. Right, like the, the backpack was in the trash can. ¿Se acuerdan? You remember that? All right, yeah, I guess you do. So this is, let's say, a, uh, yeah, I can say like a review of the words that we studied so far. The name of the activity is furniture. Furniture, furniture son los muebles, ¿verdad? Pero just one clarification, una pequeña aclaración. Lo eléctrico, if something is electrical, those are appliances, appliances, ¿verdad? Ok, appliances, y voy a mandar el spelling over here, in the chat over here. Los electrodomésticos son appliances. It's in the chat, in Zoom, all right? Appliances. A-P-P-L-I-A-N-C-E-S, appliances. Like the blender, que es la licuadora, eh, What else? The, the TV, I would say, the washing machine, which is necessary, ¿verdad? Indispensable, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Those are appliances. Ok. Y creo que ahí la cocina no mucho because it's not electrical, right? So it would be like furniture, ¿verdad? So it's commodities. De otra forma que le llaman son commodities. Eh, la refrigeradora. Refrigerator, right? Refrigerator. Ajá, la, la, la refri, right? Refrigerator. Okay, um, so now let me play the listening. And then um, listen up, listen to the pronunciation, and then you're going to do a short exercise based on this listening. Okay. Lo que van a hacer es enseguida, you know, uh, coming up next, what you will do is which rooms have the things in part A. All right, entonces you have kitchen, dining room, living room, In bedroom. So you will categorize or put the items or the furniture in the right category, okay? Or in the right, uh, let's say, room or, or place of the house. So que usted va a colocar si el microwave oven va en el comedor, you know, in the dining room, or if the chairs go both in the living room and in the dining room over there. Just very quickly. So that's what you will do. But right now, please listen up. And pay attention, please. All right. Me confirman si se escucha, por favor. Page 46, exercise 5. Word power. Furniture. Part A. Listen and practice. Armchairs. Stove. 
curtains, pictures, bed, table, coffee table, microwave oven, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, TV, cupboards. All right. I played this a second time. Here we go. Page 46, exercise 5, word power, furniture. Now uh, try to say the furniture after the speaker, please, after the audio. All right. So try to practice over there. Okay. With your microphone muted, Part so, no problem. Listen and practice. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Lamps. Sofa. Desk. Bookcase. Dresser. Chairs. Mirror. Rug. TV. Cupboards. All right. Now, uh, let me make this screen uh, smaller and I repeat this, okay? I repeat this for the third time, all right? Armchairs, son los sofá, verdad, que solo son like singular, verdad? Or, or, or those are the ones over there, okay? Uh, stove, uh, curtains, curtains, verdad? El sonido se tiene que escuchar aquí en la garganta. No va a decir curtain, ni curtains. But you have to say curtain, curtain. Si se pone la mano en el cuello, tiene que sentir las vibraciones de sus cuerdas o vocal cords. Ok, like curtains, curtains. Como cuando dice montañas, no va a decir mountain, va a decir mountains, mountains. Como cuando dice importante, important, important. And that's the way it is. All right, that's the way it is. Obviamente usted puede decir important, curtain, y mountain, and people will understand you. So that's okay. All right, but if you want to speak, let's see, in a, in a better pronunciation, if you want to have a better pronunciation, so you uh, try to imitate the accent. Pictures, a bed, table, coffee table, a microwave oven, okay, oven es horno, entonces traducción horno de microondas, verdad, microwave oven, or you just can say in the microwave, right, or in the oven, and people will understand you, all right, people will understand you, refrigerator, re, re, refrigerator, like in Spanish, right, re, refrigerator, 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 all right, lambs, uh, sofa, desk, bookcase, or you can say shelves, ¿verdad? Como estante. This is bookcase, ¿verdad? Pero shelf, shelves. Uh, I send the, the word in, in, the, in the chat over here. So take, take a look. Dresser. Como un estante. Estante, exacto. Dresser. And you can say closet. Famosísimo, los closets, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, chairs, 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 and of course, mirror, rock, rock is an alfombra, right? It's a rock. A carpet is a very long one, right? But a rock, it's rock. Okay, más pequeña. TV and cupboards. La la cena, verdad? Cupboards, cupboards. Okay, so I think, uh, um, let me just choose one of you that can help me, but it's going to be a, uh, a lady's voice over here. 
I'm gonna choose you because you were early here. Eh, Dolores, if you don't mind, please. Nos ayuda. Help us, please, with, with the words over there. In any order. In cualquier orden que usted gusta. Right. Si nos ayuda. If you can help us, you know, pronounce. Okay. Mm -hmm. Solo pronunciar, ¿verdad? Yes, correct. Stow. All right. Table. Table. Um, bed. Bed. All right. Pictures. Pictures, or you can say paintings. Remember, paintings or pictures. Uh huh. Pictures. Um. Sofa. 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 Right. sofa. Dust. Mm -hmm. Bookcase. Bookcase and one more. One more. Bookcase. Mm -hmm. Bookcase. Okay. Dresser. Dresser. All right. Si gusta, nos quedamos hasta. Uh, dresser. Thank you. Thank you, Dolores. Who, okay. would like to, who would like to continue, you know, to finish this up? All right. To finish this up. All right. Go ahead, Rocio. Thank you. The ones that are not marked down. ¿verdad? Las que no marqué. Yes, go ahead. Okay, uh, armchairs, uh, curtains, no, uh, mm -hmm. si, ¿sí? está bien, mm -hmm. curtains, mm -hmm. yes, uh, refrigerator, mm -hmm. uh, microwave oven, uh, es, esa me cuesta, es cup, cup, o sea, leerla es como cupboards, pero yes. es, eh, se escucha diferente. Mm -hmm. You said cupboards. Cup cupboards. Cupboards. Mm -hmm. Cupboards. Okay. Uh, meter. Coffee table. Mm. Uh, rock. Lamps. Chairs. Uh, TV. Thank you very much. Now let's do an exercise over here. And this is something that will help you improve or mejorar your pronunciation. Improve es mejorar, improve. Nada que ver con una palabra en español. Improve, se escribe improve. Improve, así como lo escucha, improve. Improve significa mejorar or become better. Eh, vamos a enrollar literalmente la lengua, right? Cuando digamos espejo. Acordémonos de Blanca Nieves, ¿verdad? En la madrastra malvada. <ríe> ok. Mirror. Mirror. Roar. 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 Como que fuéramos perritos, ¿verdad? Y disculpen la... la... Mirror. 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 <ríe> yeah. Sounds funny, but that's the way. Because if you say mirror, mirror, va son, va, va, vamos a sonar como la... Esta... Actriz colombiana, Sofía Vergara, I think, you know, the way she speaks, that, right? So, mirror, you say mirror, mirror, right? Mirror. Uh, if you say mirror, it's something else, right? Okay. Um, y vamos a hacer lo mismo cuando haya una R. Eh, let me give you extra words over here, all right? Una que en lugar de utilizar armchairs, eh, I think it's better. And it's, I would say, most commonly used. Voy a saltar de la full screen and I will go to the next screen over here. And um, let me just one second over here. All right, so just one moment. Let's see. Text box. All right. Ahí está. In this moment, take take advantage, please, and you can ask me, verdad? Dígame, no sé, ¿cómo se dice, eh, no sé? Um, ya dijimos armario, verdad? Dresser, which is which is the same one, right? But I think basically that's what it is, all right? It's that's what it is, okay? You know how to say toilet and everything, all right? For example, how do you say manguera? That's something that we have, all right? So how do you say that? Can somebody tell me? Y le voy a dar la, la, la clave. Voy a compartir pantalla, permítame. Eh, 
como se dice, pero sé cómo se escribe. Ok. We gotta be careful with that word. Well, si no, vamos a decir, you know, prostitute. All right. We gotta be careful. All right. So, um, le voy a poner acá las palabras. Yeah, you see, you see my screen right now, huh? Do you see my screen with, uh, más pequeñito, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Just to confirm. So, couch is what you say, los sillones, verdad, que solamente son individuales, right? Individual, you know, couch. En lugar de decir I'm sure, you, you can say couch. Pero aquí no se me vayan a confundir. No me vayan a poner, no me vayan a decir coach, ¿verdad? Coach, which is an instructor. Okay, es un instructor, ¿verdad? Alguien, ¿verdad? Un coach. All right? Coach. La otra palabra es couch. No, no. Couch, couch. Okay? Couch, couch. Okay? Y alguien que es bien sedentario, pero sedentario. Es, se le dice en Estados Unidos couch potato. Couch potato. Alguien, ¿verdad? Que, que el ejercicio, dio, como el de la otra conversación, remember, dio el exercise, que hacía de todo. He did everything, but in the end, he was just telling a, a tall tale, ¿verdad? Una de vaqueros. All right. It's a couch potato. All right. It's a couch potato. Eh, pero couch es un sillón individual, right? En manguera, you see? Like this, hose, hose. Acuérdense, acuérdense de José, pero con H. <ríe> Or remember house, sin la U. Acuérdense de cómo escribir casa, sin la U. Hose, 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 hose. O acuérdense de caballo, sin la R, right? Or remember that one, right? So, it's up to you, it's up to you, all right? It's up to you. So that's the one you have over there. Uh, so what else? Ah, okay. El cielo falso, right? You can say el techo en sí, pero como la lámina, right? Or, or what you have in there is a roof, right? Roof. Pero el cielo falso podría ser ceiling, right? Ceiling, ceiling. So that's the one, ceiling, ceiling. Ese es como el, el, el cielo falso, right? Ceiling. Over there. Uh, I think that's it, right? I think that's basically it, right? That's basically it. All right. Uh, let's continue then. There is something that you will be doing right now, okay? Uh, and this is what you will be doing, okay? So take a look at this. I, I will go full screen. Uh, so one second, and here we go. All right, it says, which rooms have the things in part A complete the chart? So in the kitchen, you have a table, a stove, uh, uh, chairs. Uh, what else do you have in the kitchen in there? So you, you may tell me in there. Microwave oven. Yes, correct. Uh, you can also have a cupboard, right? It's a cardboard, this one, cardboard. Okay, a la cena, cardboard. And uh, in refrigerator. refrigerator, too, correct. And you may have a table, too, right, in the kitchen. So sometimes, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, and then in the bedroom, you may also say that there is, of course, a bed, a table, uh, a night table, I think it's over here. Co this is a coffee table, right? But you can say it's a night table, so la mesa de noche, et cetera, et cetera, right? So uh, what you will do is just organize this, this uh, furniture into the specific, let's see, room in the house. You can do it in your notebooks right now, or just you, you will do it like as practice. And then you can say, in my living room, uh, I have or my living room has a sofa, or it has a couch, a sofa, a, a table, some chairs, a TV, a, uh, you can say uh, some speakers or a radio, okay? Or et cetera, et cetera, right? So, um, a music player, you may say, ¿verdad? Son las reproductoras. Okay, music player. 
etcétera, etcétera. So that's what you will do. O lo pone en tercera persona o lo dice solamente, I have in my living room uh, this, this, and that, right? Or you can say my living room has, etc., etc. Or, or you can say my bedroom or my living room has this, this, and that. Or my dining room. Creo que los lugares que, que nos facilita hacer esto serían maybe the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room, right? Because in the bedroom, sometimes we just have the bed, maybe a mirror or some pictures and the blankets. And that's it, right? The, or, or some, uh, let's see, some dressers or a closet. Okay, so the idea is to use this vocabulary. Okay, that's the idea. All right. Teacher. Yes, sir. Y se vale poner eh, la chimenea en, en la, la Chimney, you see? <laughs> yeah, but do you have a chimney, sir? Okay. Si tiene chimenea, sí, póngala, no se preocupe. Eh, ahorita les digo cómo se escribe. All right, chimney. Eh, un poquito complicada, ahí va. All right, so let me share the screen with you. Uh, and here you, you will have how to spell that chipney in there. This one, the last one you have in there, chipney, right? Chipney, this one, chimenea. In case you have it in El Salvador, right? But I don't think uh, we do have, right? Quizás serían las cocinas de leña. You may say that, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. And I'm not joking over here. So that's something. Ahorita tienen la first task. You have the first task already uh, to put the uh, furniture into the right room and then think how to how to say it, how to share this information. No se preocupe, verdad? Si nuestras casas, si our houses, the dining room, the and the kitchen are the same, right? Don't worry about that, verdad? No nos preocupemos en cositas en detalles si la cocina y el comedor están en el mismo lugar, ¿verdad? So don't worry about that. Okay. So, um, let me just one second. Okay, so let's continue with, with the class in here, all right? Let me just one second. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Next activity, and this is also vocabulary, vocabulary. Okay, no sé si se fijan, ¿verdad? Pero hay que variar, ¿verdad? Las cosas, ¿ok? Yesterday was conversations and grammar, stuff and things like that, ¿ok? And tonight we start with vocabulary about furniture and then we have vocabulary about jobs, ¿ok? And first of all, listen up. Vamos a escuchar. I will play the listening, all right? Uh, about this. Right now, please listen and then uh, take notes. If necessary, aprendámonos la entonación correcta de esto. So learn the right uh, intonation. Lo escuchamos la primera vez. Listen up, take notes, anotamos. La segunda vez, uh, with your microphone off, con su micrófono apagado. You say it, you practice, ¿verdad? Para que no nos durmamos and also to practice this. And the third time, I'm going to give you the directions. Ya le puedo dar las indicaciones para hacer para la, la tercera vez que lo ponga. Listening very quickly over here. Here we go. The count of three. One, two, three. Unit 8. What do you do? Page 50, Exercise 1. Word Power. Jobs. Part A. Match the jobs with the pictures. Then listen and practice. 1. K. Police officer. Oops. 2. O. Taxi driver. Three. P. Vendor. Four. All right, so organizémonos entonces porque es un poquito distinto como lo va haciendo. If you notice, they have numbers. Vamos a anotar mejor los números si les parece. So let's write the numbers down, if you don't mind. Anotemos los números. Porque le va a poner next to the number, you will write the letter. Okay, tenemos from one through 16. So right now, write the numbers from one to 16. Y, and if I were you, si fuera ustedes, fuera en mi mente, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, just like that, right? So just to practice. But right now, just write it down. Plus, hagamos una lista. Let's do a list from one through 16, please. Thank you. And you will match this based on your, your own knowledge 
or based on what the speaker is telling you, right? Lo vamos a hacer basado en su conocimiento or what uh, they are telling you over there, okay? And then the only thing you will be doing is just write the letter. The first one is, uh, is K. Uh, but let me do something and I think uh, that might be better. Uh, let me send the, uh, the image to you right now. Uh, por si ocupan su teléfono, if you use your cell phone and then you are uh, on the meeting with your, with your computer, I think that's going to be better for you. All right. So allow me just one second, please. And here we go. Let me send this to you. Se lo voy a mandar mejor para que si ustedes eh, lo tengan ya a mano. Okay. All right, so just one second over here. Um, permítame. Here we go. All right. Uh, and also you will need this, okay? You will need this, all right? Uh, igual va a necesitar esa imagen. Uh, no va a servir después. All right, so I'm sharing the screen again over here. You ready? All right. I guess I send, I, yeah, I guess I send the image to you. Already? Or todavía no le he puesto el listen. Todavía no. Solo estamos in preparation time right now. Yes, ya les cayó la imagen. You can either look at my screen or you can go with your cell phone over here. Si tiene, verdad, if you have your cell phone with you and then a pen or a, oh, and, and a page, that, that would be the best thing to do. All right? She will say the, uh, the uh, jobs randomly, all right? Al azar. All right? Ready? Okay, here we go. Unit 8. What do you do? Page 50, Exercise 1. Word Power. Jobs. Part A. Match the jobs with the pictures. Then listen and practice. 1. K. Police officer. 2. O. Taxi driver. 3. P. Vendor. 4. J. Plumber. 5. E. Electrician. 6. I. Painter. 7. H, office manager. Mm -hmm. Eight. A, accountant. Mm -hmm. Nine. L, receptionist. Ten. F, front desk clerk. Eleven. B, bellhop. Bellhop. 12. G. Nurse. 13. Doctor. D. Doctor. 14. 14. M. Salesperson. Salesperson. 15. C. Cashier. 16. N. Security guard. All right. I don't think uh, it's necessary to uh, to play this a second time because you can guess. Es decir, verdad, pueden atinarles without the listening over there. So that's not really important. Okay. So then that's the idea. But in purse, the first time you practice in the breaker room, you do this, please. Ask questions about the people in part eight. What are their jobs? What's her job? For example, usted dice, number four, what's her job? 
you will say it's a plumber, right? Or a plumber. Uh, and then you say 11 was his job. Uh, uh, how do you say this one? Help me out, please. It says bell something, huh? 11 was his job. All right. Bellhop. Bellhop, correct. It's a bellhop. All right. Bellhop. Botones, right? This one. It's a bellhop. So those are the types of questions that you are going to ask one another. All right. Okay. So uh, so that's the second thing that you will be doing uh, this evening. Okay. Para recapitular. You will share, you will share by compartir the information of the items or the furniture that you have at home in the kitchen, dining room, and living room, okay, or the bedroom, okay? You take turns saying that, please. Vamos a tomar turno, vamos a hacer turno saying that, all right? And then uh, you will ask the question, uh, let's see, number 10, what's her job? Como es mujer, va a decir su, de ella, ¿verdad? What's her job? And you have to say, front desk front desk all right front desk clerk okay from from the desk clerk and uh, if it's a uh, if it's a guy if it's a man you will say uh was his job number six he's a painter or a painter repasando la, la pronunciación uh fíjense en el cuadrito superior the one that it's on the top uh, i'm gonna say this for you a captain Bellhop, cashier, doctor, electrician, front desk clerk, nurse, nurse. You don't say nurse or nurse. No decimos nurse con O, ni decimos nurse con U. Decimos como con una E, pero no, no una E como nurse. No, nurse no, es como nurse, nurse. Ahí hay que enrollar la lengua también, ¿verdad? Nurse, nurse, nurse. Okay. Es como una O, E, nurse, nurse. Por lo menos diga nurse, pero no diga nurse. ¿Ok? Eh, office manager, manager, ma ma manager, no diga manager. No, manager se escucha demasiado golpeado o como en español. Si dice ma, manager, diga manager. Me, me. Mamá, ¿verdad? Me, me. More, me. <laughs> right? You say that. And then uh, painter, painter o painter. You say painter o painter. Si los estadounidenses son araganes, se lo pronuncian, le van a decir painter. O usted va a decir painter. ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo decir painter? Va a decir painter. ¿Ok? And uh, plumber, esta sí es regla. La B en, en este plomero no se pronuncia. One more time, please. La B de plomero no se pronuncia. Plumber. You say plumber. Police officer, or you can say cop, como Robocop, ¿verdad? Robocop. C-O-P cop or police officer reception is re reception 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 is a salesperson security 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 or solamente dice guard guard okay what's your job i'm a guard that's it guard or, or i'm a security guard or my my friend is a guard a taxi driver all right or it uh yeah you can say it. or a cab C A V C A V C A B S taxi. Okay? C A V es taxi, ¿verdad? Coloquialmente, pero C A V y C O V es policía, pero coloquialmente como le dice la gente pi pi, right? That one. So be careful. Okay? Uh, so cab driver or taxi driver. And then you say a vendor. Vendor son los vendedores informales, right? So informal vendors over there. So vendors. Okay. This is, uh, your, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. I'm sorry. I have a question. Uh, which is the difference of a front desk clerk and receptionist? A front desk most likely works uh, for a hotel, for a hotel. Okay. And a receptionist at a different office, at a bank. Okay, or just an office. Okay. All right. That's that's the difference over there. And do okay. you do, do you remember watching uh, I think Betty La Fea? <laughs> I think you did, right? So the the uh, brunette, no no no, era, era la blonde uh, girl, 
she's she's a receptionist. Pero no receptionist over there. Okay. All right? Yes, that's the team over there. Okay. Thank right. you. So, but your job right now would be to ask what's her job and what's his job. But that this is your second task. The first one, it's about the house. But the furniture number two is jobs. Okay, furniture number two is jobs. And number three, you're going to see this. And, and there's something else, Rocio, para agregarle a lo que usted me preguntaba. Most likely, a receptionist uh, answers or takes phone calls. That's her job. Y ese era el trabajo de ella, ¿verdad? De la, de la que salía en Betty la Fea, ¿verdad? Answer phone calls or to take notes over there. But a front desk gives you information, etc. Como cuando usted va al punto seguro o información, creo que en el seguro social. There's a front mm -hmm, desk. Mm -hmm. over there. So that's the one. That's okay. The one. Yes, that one. Okay, so the next thing is conversation. He works in a hotel. All right? No me diga, por favor, hot, uh, hotel. No, we don't say that. You say hotel. Ho, hotel. Eh, and here we go. Listen and practice. Es una conversación, de hecho, muy divertida. Espero que, I mean, at, at least you smile, le saque una sonrisa, right? So, and here we go. Let me just one second. Eh, la quité, ¿verdad? Para no quitarle la emoción. <laughs> All right. So, and here we go. Let's see conversation. Page 51. Hold on. All right, here we go. One, exercise three, conversation. He works in a hotel. So it's a good conversation, Listen go ahead. And practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Teacher, no se le escucha. Qué lástima. You see how small the world is. <laughs> Qué lástima. You see how small the world is. Chiquito el mundo, ¿verdad? <laughs> no sabe dónde le va a caer, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. We, we got to be careful, right? We got to be careful with what we say over there, ¿verdad? Eh, por eso hay que ser, y voy a mandar esta palabra al chat, ¿verdad? Para alguien que es prudente o sensato, right? But in this case, that's okay. We say level eh, headed. Level headed. Level headed significa alguien sensato, ¿verdad? Alguien que esté nivelado, you have your actions, you know, and feelings over there. Level headed, sensato. Okay? Level headed. So, uh, so you have Rachel and Angela talking about uh, uh, their brothers, okay, jobs at, at the same hotel, the plaza, right? One is the manager and the other one is just, let's say, uh, front desk clerk. And yeah, it's something funny over here because they don't like each other, ¿verdad? No se agradan. They don't like each other, okay? They don't like each other. So this is what you would practice. So this is your third, your third task, okay? This is your third task, ¿verdad? And, and with no further ado, sin más darle vuelta a esto, al asunto, let me uh, assign you to working groups of three. Practice this, the furniture, practice the jobs and the questions, and practice the conversation, okay? So I guess we're good. So one second. I'm doing the breaker rooms right now. And here we go. There you go. All right. So join the rooms, please.
De que dice, ajá, dice. Ajá, es. Ajá, tenemos que, y luego eh, la número dos, la sería Taxi, taxi Drive. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? No, la número tres eh, sería uh, ben, vender, ben, vender. Vendedor. Uh -huh. vendedor, la 4 es plomero, la 5 es electrician, la pintor, uh -huh. la 7 office manager, manager. Exactly. Uh -huh. manager. la 8 accountant, la 9 receptionist, la receptionist, la 10 es la 12 es nurse. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dijo que se dice botones? Uh, Bellhop. Botones. Bellhop. 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 Uh -huh. Nurse, nurse. Ah, o sea, o primero lo urdes, las dice a todas, luego Claudia y luego yo, no sé. Sí, 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 así. ¿Verdad? Uh, in my living room, uh, you know, in my kitchen, uh, teacher is in my, in my kitchen, have a... I have. Uh, o oh, has a... You have two options, okay? Two options. You say it in first person, or lo dice en primera persona, o lo dice refiriéndose al lugar en sí, de la siguiente forma. Solo déjenme silenciarlos para que no se escuche. Okay, ahí está. So listen up, please. O digo yo. In my, in my kitchen, I have a stove, a table, a chairs, etc. O dice, my kitchen has... Stove, a microwave, mic, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? That's what you say. Okay. Now you may go ahead. Okay. In my kitchen, I have um, a stove, a table, a microwave oven, a refrigerator, and a cup, cupboard. Okay. Thank you. In my, uh, in no, ah, okay. In my dining room, I have a, only a table and a chair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> básico, básico. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> uh, in my living room, I have uh, armchairs, coffee table, sofa, uh, curtains, curtains, mm -hmm. and um, a pictures. And a mirror, mirror, mirror. In a mirror, okay, mirror. In a mirror. Okay. And in my bedroom, I have a, a bed, a curtains, um, a, ¿cómo se dice mesa de noche? Table night? Yeah, night table. Night table, a mirror, and a TV. All right, and do you have a lamp or just a... Yes, I have a lamp. Yes. Okay. Just yeah, that's perfect actually. Just one thing. When it's plural, more than one, you say I have curtains or is it some, some, algunas some. cortinas okay. or curtains, para evitar que digamos a curtains if it's in plural, right? Okay. Thank you. But that's great. Okay. Uh, and do you have a closet in your bedroom, uh, Rocío? Yes. 
<laughs> yes, uh -huh. of course you should have it, right? <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, continue, please. I'll be back. For one, you just want to say, okay. He is. Uh huh. No solo la palabra, sino police he, office. He is a police office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Police officer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Porque es hombre, hombre. Okay. Sí, es hombre. Algo así. Supongamos que es hombre. Gallo gallina. Más elote, más elote. Tiene pelo rojo. Okay. What is Joe's three? Okay, you, you, or, you can say, or you can say, okay, 11. Solo así dicen el número, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, Elijamos okay. el vendedor, ¿verdad? Okay, que okay. Uh, three, or number three. Uh, what's, okay. digámoslo quizás así más, más general, más genérico. What's mm -hmm. the job? What's that job? What? What, ¿Cuál es el trabajo? What's the job? Para que no uh, debatamos, so we don't have a diva if it's, mm -hmm. a, if it's a guy or if it's a girl. So we say, what's the job? And you would say, okay. Uh, What's the job What's number? The job? Okay. She, number three. She's a vendor. She's a, okay, she's a vendor. Or you say a vendor. Vendor. That's it. Vendor. Vendor or she's a vendor or it's a vendor. She's a vendor. She's a vendor. Okay. 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 Number, num, number 11. Number five. What? 11, he said. 11. Yes. 11. That'll help. La rebuscada está preguntando César. La rebuscada. Está bien, está bien. It's me, Bellhop. It's a Bellhop, correct. Bellhop. Yeah, that's right. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Number, number seven, eso sí no escuché cuál era. Ah, oh, sí, es it's, it's office manager. Ah, office manager. Or the, the boss, right? The boss. The boss. <laughs> It's the boss. La, la mera, mera. La mera. El patrón. <laughs> la que buena. La, jefa. la que buena. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. Number 15. All right. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. She's cashier. A cashier. A cashier. Yeah. Cashier. 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 Okay. Number 10. Number 10. Is Prondex Claire. Or you can say a cleric. A clear from this clerk, clear. just clear. You can say clear, clerk, cleric. All right, ah, traducido, clerk. teacher traducido. Que, o sea, que es que es en sí, porque son tres palabras, pero que, que es traducido. Uh, aquí se me, me agarró en curva. De punto seguro. Sí, ajá, es como la que da información, verdad? Es como una recepcionista, recepcionista, una recepcionista, pero el que da como, como información, verdad. Pero ahorita la averigua. De... Ah, aquí, okay. le, aquí la averigua. Ok. From desk. Eh, uh, clerk. Right. Usted dijo de que era como tipo de la de punto seguro, ¿verdad? Sí, la gente que da información. Uh -huh. Exacto. La que está. Okay. Okay. La que está enfrente del escritorio. Sí. Es, la, es, es, es lo mismo de un seccionista, pero. <risa> pero en un hotel no, no necesariamente la que esté tomando llamadas. Por ejemplo, si usted uh -huh. trabaja en un call center, uh, por decir... Uh, no por uh, información. Ajá, uh, for information. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. ok. Thank you. Pueden ser como las asistentes de un área específica. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, porque aquí aparece front desk representative uh, in a clinic, ¿verdad? En una clínica. That could be. All right, so that one. It could be that one, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. <coughs> Como un representante, digamos, de información, más o menos, por ahí. Mm -hmm. All right. Ok. Hey. Number four. Number four. 
Plumber. 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 Sin la B. Please. Sin la B. Yes. Plumber. He is okay. a plumber. Other number. Uh, no. All right, gentlemen. And Catherine. Yes. All right, so uh, which one are you practicing right now? ¿En cuál estamos ahorita? Para que les eche la mano so I can help you. Um, estamos finalizando la número uno. Ok. De las, de los trabajos. De las, fern, ah, trabajos, ok. Uh, jobs, sí. no, jobs, ok. Jobs. Si alguien, eh, if you can help me, no sé, alguien que me, me ayude, no sé, a, a compartir. If you want to share the information, si alguien me dice... Eh, eh, le voy a hacer la pregunta, ok? So, a los tres, de hecho, le voy a hacer las preguntas. Está bien. Ok. Ok, okay so, number three, eh, voy a comenzar. Oscar, David, and Catherine. So, Oscar, number three, please. What's her job? Number three. Number three, eh, vendor. It's a vendor, right? It's a vendor. Vendor. Uh, vendor. Uh, vendor. You, can say, you can say she's, she's a vendor or a vendor, just like that. Uh, David, please. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Recep receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. Yeah, she's okay. a receptionist. And Catherine, number 16, please. 16. El último. Este señor. This, this. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, oh, oops. Uh -huh. pasó, perdón. Sorry about that. All right. This one. 16. Security work. Yeah, or you can say guard. He's a guard. ¿Verdad? Guard. Un, yes. ¿Verdad? Un guardia de seguridad. A guard. Un vigilante decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Vigilante. <laughs> ok. But it's a guard. Vaya. Eh, en el clerk, el clerk es como un representante de la empresa, el que da la cara, pero es como un recepcionista, ¿verdad? Pero no necesariamente toma llamadas. Okay. Eh, that person speaks to the clients or to the customers, you know, face to face. En cambio, un receptionist, mucha veces solo está teniendo llamadas. Si usted va a una clínica dental privada, you know, you go to a private clinic, uh, there you have a receptionist or you can have a front desk, dependiendo. Pero un hotel, en un hotel, es is, is a clerk. Puede decir clerk solamente. No, no es necesario que diga front desk clerk. Diga clerk. That's it? Yeah. Clerk. Just like that. Clerk. Okay. Yeah. En el inglés, de hecho, le reducen como cuando ustedes dicen laboratorio, laboratory, people, this, la, la gente dice lab, lab, laboratory. Ok. All right. Eh, entonces los dejo practicar. I'll let you practice the conversation. Ok. Ok, thank you. Teacher. Yes, sir. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, el, eh, el PDF de esto no lo ha mandado. Uh, no, fíjese, pero ya que me hace la recomendación eh, en lo que estén trabajando, lo pongo y, y se lo voy a mandar. Porque hay bastante información, hay uh -huh. varios ejercicios que están por ahí, pero sí. Um, all right, so just one second. So if you don't mind, you can keep on practicing, please. Uh, uh, this, please. So, I mean, uh, you, you can start practicing. Ya, ya casi me voy. Solo estoy asignando a alguien que no estaba por acá. Okay. Dice... La mayoría no lo entiendo, pero es un poco más en, en la pronunciación. Yo sí escucho bien el... Entiendo los audios y todo lo que dicen, pero... El típico guanaco, pero me estoy abriendo aquí en el WhatsApp. El típico guanaco que nos da miedo que nos escuchen o nos da pena. <risa> ¡Eh, hey, teacher! No lo había visto. Hi, teacher. A... Una plática filosófica, right? A philosophical talk. Va. Bueno, dice. <risa> Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. The, well, um, en el ex exercise number one and number two, we finish. Okay, now you're practicing the conversation. Yes. Okay. Eh, este, 
Bueno, los dos son mujeres, así que voy a agarrar yo, eh, si quiere agarro yo Angela y usted haga el otro nombre, Nelson. Rachel. Yes. Rachel. Ok. Correcto, bye. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from the square. How does he like it? He hates it. He hates it. Hate he it. doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The place. Uh, Plaza, I think it is. Uh -huh. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does, what does he do? Uh, actually, he's the manager. They <laughs> <laughs> hicieron enemigas. They're enemies now. A mí me pasó algo similar. En serio. Eso es identificado. Uh -huh. eh, yo, bueno, yo dije, actually, he's the manager. Ajá. Uh -huh. ahí, ahí muere, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí muere, ahí muere. Sí, ahí le, le pasó algo similar. De sí. Oh, chica, qué vergüenza. Yo no sabía, tenía años de no ver a una persona y, y empezamos a hablar de... Y mira, cuando te enfermaste, ella te iba a ver, que no sé qué, vos andabas con ella, a ver qué hiciste, ajá, pícaro, que no sé qué. <risa> <risa> Había una tercera persona que solo me hacía mueca, va, y yo, ¿qué onda, va? Resulta que el que estaba oyendo la conversación uh, a, un, a un metro de nosotros era el actual esposo de quien yo estaba hablando. Hijuela. <risa> <risa> Desde entonces ya, me, ya le caí mal. <risa> Se la ganó de enemigo, güey, de enemigo. Estábamos tres platicando. Entonces, eh, había una cuarta persona que era la que estaba a un metro, que era el esposo de, de quien yo estaba hablando. Pero Vela. como tenía años de no verlo, pero bueno, en fin. <risa> That's sí. too bad. That, that's very bad. I mean, that's, yeah, that was awkward, incómodo, awkward. That's how you say it. All right, awkward. Aprovechando, le voy a mandar el PDF, fíjense, de, de lo de esta semana, por lo menos de lo que he construido, de lo que vamos a ver. Esperamos. Okay. Uh, now that okay. I have you here, gentlemen. It's hotel. It's a hotel. Bye. En lugar de decir from this clerk, digamos clerk solamente. Okay. Clerk. 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 Eso les va a ayudar a eh, quitar espacio en nuestro disco duro, ¿verdad? La cabeza. Clerk. 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 Vamos a decir clerk, ¿verdad? Y a donde dice él lo odia. He, he hates it. 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 Acuérdense, it. acuérdense que hacemos uniones de sonido, ¿verdad? He hates it. He hates it. Ahorita vamos a repasar. Vaya, este, aquí va este documento de 32 páginas, ahí van a disculpar. Ya me lo imprimo en la oficina. Yes, that's what you have. Después van a tener un libro, fíjense, porque yo lo saco de un libro. Entonces, that's what I do. Es lo mismo de un libro que no puede dar el nombre. Exactamente. Yo ahora se los puedo compartir. Uh -huh. I can send the book to you if you don't mind. Un poco, un poco pesadito. Pero en realidad, no, esto, no, no, no va en orden correlativo, ¿verdad? Entonces... Eh, ahí se pueden perder un poquito. Eh, and, and that's it then. So there you have. You it's should open it. All right. So let's go back to the main station then. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh...
All right, so welcome, welcome, welcome back. Um, let me say this in Spanish. Les compartí un PDF de lo que vimos ayer, lo que estamos viendo hoy, y por lo menos unos dos días más, o quizás mañana. All right? At least you have there. So take a look, please. It's in your cell phone. All right? It's in your cell phone. So I, I sent it into the WhatsApp over there. Así nos evitamos de estar imágenes y todo eso. And then you can zoom in, et cetera, et cetera. I think that's actually better. Okay. And let me know, please, if you're able to open it. Esta fecha en realidad, el 26 no es, es 19th. O sea que en semana y media, um, on business days, si usted lo pone, son cinco, ocho días. Ocho días, business days, uh, se acaba esto. This is what we did yesterday, a piece of cake, very easy. Eh, les dije que esta semana, eh, por ejemplo, el día de ayer se vencía lo del midterm. No significa que no lo va a poder hacer. Lo que significa es que si no quiere que se le acumulen las cosas, si lo hace ayer o lo hacen esta semana, o sea, está bien, ¿verdad? Eh, unit 3, this coming Friday, right? The due date is this coming Friday, ¿ok? So, and it's five activities, what you have over there. Eh, los que estuvieron en clase ayer, this is what we did yesterday. There you have it. You can print it out. Lo pueden imprimir. No hay ningún problema. And this is what we did uh, yesterday, unit three. El ejercicio que les pedí ayer, my new apartment. El que tenía la gran vista, lo sea, la verdad. It was just the, the other buildings over there. ¿Se acuerdan? Que, que le preguntaban, does he, have a, does, he have a great, or does he have a view? ¿Tiene una buena vista? No, ¿verdad? No tiene a, a vista al lago de Guatepeque. Este... And then, I, I don't like, lo que vimos hoy, comenzamos con esto. I don't like. Y this is the grammar review, the furniture. And uh, what we have is, estamos hasta aquí. He works in a hotel. Okay? Hotel. In a hotel. Como siempre les digo yo énfasis, vamos a hacer uniones de sonidos. Okay? In a hotel, you gotta join it, etc. Pero este es el PDF, le voy a mostrar el... el el, la presentación, which is, I think, is better. Okay. Y perdone que no les he mandado de una sola vez el PDF, pero digamos que yo cada nivel que tengo modifico, le agrego cosas. Entonces, no es que yo tenga algo hecho, sino que modifico presentaciones. Tengo por aquí una presentación de 236 pages. All right. 236 pages. Yes. O sea, lo que hago es, ¿verdad? Te limito la información. No le voy a mandar 300 páginas. No, I won't do that. <laughs> All right. So uh, just one second over here. Uh, let me get to the right then. All right. Be careful. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Okay. So I need two volunteers, please, that can help me practice these conversations in front of everybody, please. Uh, let me just go back to the Zoom screen. So. Two rolling twos, please. Two. Only two, please. All right? You, you would practice a, that, this conversation, ¿verdad? Donde se, la muchacha se puso en apuros. All right, Raul, you'll be the first one. I need another one, please. Alguien que diga yo. So in that case, I'll be choosing, okay? So I'll be choosing you right here. Let's see. Juan Carlos, help us, please, sir, if you don't mind. Okay. All right. So, uh, Raul, you are Rachel, and then uh, Juan Carlos, you're the second one. Go ahead, please. So, unmute your microphone, Raul, I think. All right. Okay. Sorry. Uh, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he, what does he do? Actually, actually, he's the manager. Manager. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Okay, so I'm doing the I'm doing the uh, the uh, link sounds over here. 
anímense, por favor, ¿verdad? Practiquemos esto. Entre más lo... Perdón, aquí no hay una. Eh, me equivoqué. Esta no aplica, señores. Me emocioné, right? <laughs> okay. You, you don't make any sound, so that's too bad. You say, okay, what hotel does he does he work for? That nothing. The plaza, that's funny. My brother works there too. That's interesting. You can say interesting or you can say interesting. So it's up to you. Interesting or interesting. What does he do? Actually, actually, de hecho, de hecho, actually, he's the manager. ¿Verdad? Eh, hagamos la unión de sonido. Where does your in a hotel uh, works in a he's a front desk uh, he like it how does he like it he hates it uh, uh, that's interesting or that's interesting okay solo para que practiquemos verdad y so can i have two more volunteers over here please de hecho no se preocupen solo su voz se escucha gracias ana yancy yo lo pongo en pantalla minimizada verdad eh, So, Anayansi, you're the first one. Can I have just one more volunteer over here para que nos quitemos eh, el sueño? Yes, it's, uh, Flor. Go ahead, please. Eh, so, Anayansi, you are Rachel. Okay. So, and then, Flor, you're Angela. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay. Perdón, ¿quién? Yo Rachel. primero. Yes, ah, Rachel. Okay. Where that you go for? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother worked in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. Flor? How, Flor? How? How? How does he like it? How, how does he like it? Okay, continue. I like, he likes it. Uh, he had, he had it. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? Uh, the plaza. Mm -hmm. That's funny. My brother worked there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Uh, actually, he's the manager. Okay, thank you. I appreciate your participation over here. Y, eh, perdone que demasiado me detengo. Yo siempre les digo esto de muchas cosas, pero vamos a, a reforzar. So let me just, uh, you know, practice a last time this conversation, ¿verdad? Aquí vamos a hacer un monólogo, ¿verdad? Como otro rollo. <laughs> Mal chiste, ¿verdad? Pero igual, <laughs> otro yoyo. -yo. <laughs> yeah, I know, sir. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, where does your brother work? Uh, hay que proyectar la voz, ¿verdad? Mi voz quizás no me ayuda, pero igual, uh, hay que adaptarlo a lo que tenemos. Uh, where does your brother work? Or so, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Un consejo. <laughs> Un consejo. Los signos de puntuación, así como cuando leemos en español, hay que respetarlos. ¿Ok? Hay que respetarlos. You know? uh, question marks. All right. Question marks en comas también, ¿verdad? Actually, he's the manager. Or exclamation marks. Signos de interrogación. Exclamation marks. Question marks. Periods. En comas, ¿verdad? Hay que hacer las pausas cuando sean necesarias. ¿Ok? And then, okay, oh, that's interesting. All right, so let's continue, please, then. Now, uh, just a review this one. So take a look at this. Simple present WH questions. Uh, se llaman information questions or open questions or WH questions. So those are the names. Where do you work? What do you do? How do you like it? Or how do you like it? Where does he work? What does he do? How does he like it? 
Where do they work? What do they do? How do they like it? Okay. Let me play the listening. Pongámosle atención al, a la palabra do, ¿verdad? Que ellos la reducen. Ellos dicen what do. What do, right? What do you do? So that's what they say over there. So here we go. Let me just one second. Let me look for the listening I'm over here. 925, ¿verdad? Ya sobrevivimos hora y media casi. Entonces, you, you can do it, all right? Page 52, exercise 4, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? Where do you work? In a hospital. In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. A doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. I really like it. Where does he work? Where does he work? In a hotel. In a hotel. What does he do? What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Where do they work? In a store. In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. They hate it. Okay. Cashier, ¿verdad? Hasta despacito lo dicen. Cashier. Eh, complete these conversations and intense practice with a partner. Voy a hacer la primera para ustedes, demostrárselas, and then you, you will do two, three, four, obviamente en grupo, ¿verdad? Pero right now, we're just going to put it on hold. Vamos a poner en espera. So, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. Okay. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. ¿Verdad? How, does, how, does, how do you like it? Es como que te gusta el trabajo, le gusta el trabajo, qué le parece el trabajo, ¿verdad? Etc. So that's the question. Right? So how do you like it? Or how do you like your job? El it, al final de la oración, el que está acá, ¿verdad? El it está reemplazando a trabajo. ¿Ok? Si su esposa, su esposo, if your husband, your wife, your mom, your friend, ¿ok? Your coworker tells you, y, 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 y ¿cómo te gusta? Hoy el 14 de febrero, right? So, how do you like it? ¿Cómo le gusta el regalo? O sea, ¿le gusta el regalo? How do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah, they're beautiful, you would say. <laughs> okay. So, just to give you an example over here. If you don't do that, that's okay. Pero if, if they invite you for dinner, right? If they invite you for dinner and then it's the, kick, the, the, the chicken over there, right? Or something, you have the dinner. So, how do you like it? Yeah. Le gusta. You may say, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. You know, it's delicious, right? That's how you say it. Pero ahorita el contexto es el trabajo. So how do you like your job? Etc. How do you like your job? Entonces el eat está reemplazando trabajo para que ya no lo repitamos otra vez. ¿Y cuál es la lógica? Si ustedes se fijan, comencemos a ver la primera pregunta. Where do you work? Y ya le dice, in a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. Y luego, how do you like it? How do you like el qué? El trabajo, right? So that, that's a logic over there. En, en tercera persona, so where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? O sea, ¿cómo le gusta ser manager o el trabajo? All right, so it's okay, you know? And maybe it's stressful, you know? Dealing with people, you know, it's, it's let's see, you gotta be patient, okay? Hay que tener paciencia. Eh, and that's what no. you will do. Yes. Una pregunta. Yes, Por ejemplo, si no estamos hablando, en ese ejemplo que dice, ¿verdad? Donde es, how do you like it? Es porque venimos hablando de, de lo mismo. Uh -huh. Pero si, por ejemplo, no estamos hablando de, de, de ese tema y de repente yo pregunto, how do you like your job? Es, es correcto. Sí, sí. La primera vez usted va a decir la palabra eh, entera, por así decirlo. Ah, ok. Lo segundo lo va a reemplazar por un pronombre. Por eso que de hecho se llaman pronombre, porque van después de haber dicho el nombre. O el la nombre. Ah, mm -hmm. ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Ok, so, uh, so basically, uh, you start, what do you do? Or what does he do, right? Like, what does your brother do? Eh, or where does your brother work? Ok, in a hotel. He's a front desk clerk. Y de ahí, si aparece el it a usted por, por, por este ejercicio, le da la pista que le va, tiene que preguntar how do you, or how does he, or how does she. ¿Ok? Entonces, guiémonos por las clues, ¿verdad? O los hints that this is, this is uh, uh, telling us. Basémonos en eso, por favor. You're going to use the information over here. 
but we don't do it right now. We don't do it right now. So we will continue with this. Something important and something that Cesar was telling me yesterday. Cesar, you were telling me yesterday that your cousin tells you, like, why do you say, what do you, verdad? Entonces, one second. Eh, le, le decía, ¿por qué es tan correcto al hablar, verdad? ¿Por qué este me está diciendo, what do you do? Cuando puede decir, what do you do? Esta es, la, esta es la pronunciación que vamos a practicar. Se llama reduction of do, ¿verdad? Va a ver que este do, la D se hace R, la D se hace R, and D becomes R. D becomes R, so ¿verdad? Solo se puede cuando tú utiliza do, ¿verdad? And that's no, you cannot do that, all right? But this is just grammar and this is part of the pronunciation. Y, si, y los invito a que ustedes también ocupen esa, practica, esa, esa pronunciación, digamos, más reducida, o yo diría, aragana, ¿verdad? But that's the way it is. Okay, ese es parte del idioma y hay que aprenderlo. So here we go. Page 52, exercise 5, pronunciation. Reduction of do. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do. Where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? Okay, ru, ru, you say ru. Where do, okay, where do you work? Where do, where do, where do? Where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? If it's difficult for you, Let's say, what, where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? But based on my, based on my uh, experience, Kansa Mas está diciendo, where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? ¿Verdad? Es como que tenemos que agarrar más fuerza, you know, more air, and things like that. So let me play it again, please. All right? Acuérdense, esto es opcional. Okay, usted decide si ocupa ese, esa pronunciación o no. All right, so it's just optional. Here we go. Page 52, exercise 5, pronunciation. Reduction of do. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do. Where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? Okay. Voy a ponerle mudo a mi micrófono. So let, me, let me mute myself over here. And then, con sus micrófonos así apagados, tratemos de decirlo por lo menos una vez. All right. So let's try to say at least once. So say at least one. Y voy a ver el movimiento de su, de su boca, you know, of your lips over there, of your mouth, and see if you can do it. Remember that this is optional when you speak. Uh, acuérdese, dependiendo con quién está hablando, usted va a decir, what do you do? If it's something formal, que su vida o su trabajo depende de eso, hable lo mejor que pueda. Okay, you know that already. All right? So, this is informal English. Okay, it's informal English. So, here we go. Yo también voy a hacer la práctica y podemos hacerlo like three times over there, ¿verdad? I would be the model, right? I'd be the model for you. What do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? Where do you work? What do you do? What do they do? What do they do? ¿Verdad? Ya nos hicimos bolas. Okay. <laughs> and let's see. Um, let's see. Mr. Nelson, so you don't fall asleep, sir. If you can help us. Eh, Mr. Hernandez. Mi modo me tocó, dice. Usted elige. Okay. You choose, sir. If you want to say the four or only one or two. Um, si usted diga, diga las cuatro. Repeat, no, 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 no. That's okay. Usted elige ah, si okay, le dice. No, four. Every, 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 okay. Everything, right? Everything. Okay. Where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? That's perfect. Nice. You got it. You got it, boy. Mm. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay. So uh, now in this case, I'll be choosing okay. you. Thank you. Okay, I'll be choosing. Uh, I'll choose a lady over here, Claudia, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Ustedes here, or only one or two or everything. Go ahead, please. Everything. Where do you work? 
what do you do? ¿Qué sería what do you what do you do? <risa> Where do you they, what, what do you they do? Pero es guaro, ¿verdad? Sí, es guaro. Ok. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right. Ahora, it, now, a volunteer, please. Dejemos esto, ¿verdad? Optional. A volunteer, please. Que diga yo. Are we here? Somebody says, oh, ya se abre su micrófono y empieza a hablar, ¿verdad? Para, de un solo. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Mm -hmm. do, you do? Mm -hmm. Where do they work? Mm -hmm. what, what do you they do? What do they do? What do, what do they do? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. What do. Thank you, sir. All right. We'll move forward in here. Okay. We'll move forward in here. Thank you. Now, take a look at uh, the images that we have over here. It says, ask questions about these people. Uh, where do they work? What do they do? How do they like it? Okay. Eh, yo lo, lo que les recomiendo, so what I suggest you do is practiquen de la forma correcta. Where do you work? Y por lo menos la, la pregunta, what do, what do you do? Háganla así, ¿verdad? De forma informal. Entre what ustedes, ¿verdad? What do you do, ¿verdad? What do you do? They do. Las la demás digan las correctas porque cuesta un poquito más. You will say, where do you work? Where do they work? Eh, y la demás, cuando te ocupen el do, el do dos veces, diga, what do, you, what do you do? Or what do they do? Pero en las demás cuesta. Entonces, en esta, yo sí les recomiendo que les va a salir más fácilmente. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? It's natural. In the other ones, keep on saying, sigamos diciendo, where do you work? What do you do? Where do you live? Etcétera, etcétera. Ok, solo se puede en WH questions, en yes no questions no se puede hacer esto, no me va a decir, do, uh, do you take a shower, no, no, no me va a decir, do you take a shower, ok. And what we have in here is, uh, where do they work, what do they do, how do they like it, you may say, uh, the, first one is, the first one is David, and uh, you may say the second one is Laura, And the third one is Brian and Jessica. La pregunta es, where do they work? And I would say, he works in an office. What does he do? You know, David, he's a manager. All right. And that, how does he like it? You can say, okay. You may say, I think he likes it. All right. Or you can say, uh, this guy, right? Digamos que David es él, right? Maybe he's David, right? Maybe I think this is David, right? David is an accountant, you may say. So what does he do? Or what does he work? He works in an office, right? Or in a company, something like that. And what does he do? He's an accountant. How, how does he like it? Uh, it's very stressful, right? It's very stressful. Or he doesn't like it. Or he hates it. Okay? He, or he hates his job. Okay? This is something that we will do. This is a teacher, right? And we have uh, Brian... Who is this guy? This is Brian. And this is Jessica, right? So Jessica over here. Entonces la pregunta es, where do they work? What do they do? And how do they like their job? Okay. Puede decir job or like. It's a, this is the second thing that you will practice in. And the third thing would be just reading time. It would be reading time. It says, listen in practice. What do you do? What's your job? Aquí puede decir el guaro, ¿verdad? What do you do? What's your job like, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo es su trabajo? Okay, what's your job like? Aunque aquí le diga que es el what, y yo el what le he dicho que significa qué o cuál. Cuando usted mira en esta, esta pregunta, what's your job like? Or what's the weather like? Eh, significa cómo es tal cosa, ¿verdad? What's your job like? So we have one, two, three, four, and five. I'm sorry, four. I'm sorry, four uh, jobs. Okay, we have a server, a firefighter, a social worker, and a florist. I'll play the listening. Lo que lo voy a poner es el audio. Y ustedes solamente, you know, you get familiar with this. Después va a haber una breve pregunta, which is the one you would practice. So right now, just listen up, please. And try to pay attention. Los otros ejercicios ya los vamos a seguir practicando, ¿verdad? Uh, I'll play the, the listening over here for you. And 
Let's see. I think this is the one. Page 53, exercise six. Yes. Snapshot. What do you do? So listen up, please. What's your job like? Listen and practice. I'm a server in a coffee shop. It's easy, but boring. I don't like my job much. Mm -hmm. I'm a firefighter. It's exciting and very dangerous, but I like my job a lot. I'm a social worker. It's difficult and really stressful, but I love my job. Mm -hmm. I'm a florist. My job isn't very exciting, but it's pretty relaxing. I like my job okay. Okay. Si se fijaron en la pregunta, la señorita dijo, what do you do? Right? What do you do? Entonces, esto lo vamos a personalizar. De eso se trata. You're going to make it personal. So you have to write your own, your own information, su propia información, your own information. En este caso, you may say, uh, like I remember Eduardo, Eduardo can say, uh, I'm a uh, financial analyst. Okay. I work, uh, you know, for this company. Eh, y luego punto, ¿verdad? Comienza. It's, y le pone un adjetivo. It's uh, an interesting, uh, difficult, stressful, easy job, etcétera, etcétera. O puede poner dos adjetivos, three adjectives, four adjectives. It doesn't matter. And then you will say, I like my job very much, or ocupa las palabras de este señor, you know. Uh, I like my job okay. All right. O sea, es como que I don't like it that much, you know, I'm not a big fan, you know, uh, it's my 10, etc., etc., right? So that's what you're going to do. Entonces, vayamos pensando, so start thinking what information you're going to share with your classmates. Entonces, este, this is the moment in which you, you will share what you do, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hacen ustedes for, for a living? This is my job. Hi, uh, I'm, uh, let's see, uh, Oscar, etc. I'm, uh, I don't know, an accountant. I work at this office. It's a it's a difficult job, or it's an easy job. It's a stressful job, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but I like my job, okay? Because I'm good at uh, 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 you know at doing this, okay? Porque soy bueno en ello. La cuestión está que eh, menciona your occupation or your job, then you say adjectives, y después dice if you like it or not. Yes. Voy a repetir, pero yes. perdón, ok, ah, pues sí, eh, me captaron que la, la conexión como que estuvo un poquito lenta. Ahí está lenta, voy a quitar la cámara un momento. Ok, permítame un momento. Vamos a regresar. Si me escucha, me confirma, por favor. ¿Sí? Ok, si me escucha y no me escucha como lagging o cortado. Yes. Ok. All right. Entonces, uh, right now, let me send you to the breaker rooms. Confírmeme, por favor, si me escucha bien. Vamos a hacer tres prácticas. All right. Three practices over here. Sí, uh, tres prácticas. La primera es, the first one is, completamos las conversaciones. And then you practice. So, fill in the blanks. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. It's important, right? That you do the exercise and then you practice with a partner. Lo que nos va a servir es la práctica. Okay, perdón. Creo que es, es, es el inter por acá que me está fallando. Vamos a ver qué puedo hacer. Permítame un momento. Quiero ver. Y en estos momentos ya me escuchan bien. Perdón. Yes. Ok. Thank you. Thank, thanks for your feedback. Pues sí, verdad. Tuve que apagar el, el, el wifi del, del celular. Okay, so in the first exercise, you complete this conversation and then you, you practice with a partner. 
All right, you don't have to write anything, but I don't necessarily escribir nada. This is a speaking activity. Okay. In the next one, which we have on the next page, pongamos en práctica. So let's practice the three questions. So where do they work? What do they do? And how do they like it? Si usted se siente más cómodo diciendo where do they work y no diciendo where, where do they work, eh, diga, ¿verdad? Como hemos estado aprendiendo desde siempre. Okay. Eh, and you're going to describe what these people in, in each picture do. Va a describir lo que hacen en cada imagen. And the following is this, okay? Va a decir, uh, primero, you read. Vamos a leer la información, ¿verdad? De cada persona, of each person over here. Leemos, uh, you saw, I go first, I'm a server in a coffee, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Luego continúa, for example, Claudia, and then continues... Uh, Baltasar, por ejemplo, que estuviéramos en el mismo salón, ¿verdad? En el mismo cuarto. Ok, over there, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, y de ahí lo va a hacer personal, esta información. La va a compartir, va a decir, hi, my name is Claudia, I'm this, you know, I like it, uh, it's an exciting job, or it's dangerous, or it's difficult. Eh, tomen eh, ejemplos de esto, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos easy, exciting, dangerous, boring, interesting. Tenemos ejemplos de adjetivos. Utilicémonos, por favor. Entonces, without further ado, lo voy a poner en los grupos. And uh, we take it from there. All right. right. Go ahead, please. Para que no se me duerman. Yeah, 946 and 15 more minutes and you're free. So join the rooms, please. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> what happened, Anais? <laughs> <laughs> hello, teacher. Ah, entonces aprovechemos, verdad, para que practiquemos si gusta. Okay. Les mandé un PDF, un documento, ¿verdad? Ahí está todo lo que hemos, lo que vamos a hacer. Este, si se fija, en la, en la primera va a ser eh, esta, ¿verdad? Que es completar estos espacios. Ok. So that's what you're going to do. Lo, ocupe la gramática que está aquí arriba. So that's what you do. Luego vamos a practicar eh, where do they work? O va a decir where does David work? O solo usted escriba, okay? David works in an office. He's an accountant, and he uh, hates his job. Or the, no le gusta el trabajo. Or the, it's difficult. No tiene que seguir el mismo patrón de que le están diciendo, pero por lo menos describa lo que mira usted en la imagen. Y de ahí va, va a leer esto, verdad? Digamos comienza Nayansi, luego va Oscar, luego va Flor. De Guanayansi, luego ustedes dicen su información personal. Va a decir a Nayansi, I'm a tour guide, shop, it's an interesting job, and I like it very much. Más o menos así. ¿Verdad, Nayansi? Okay. <laughs> All right. Le <laughs> leí la mente. <laughs> Vaya. Entonces, go ahead, pero lo dejo y voy a, voy a otro grupo. Okay. 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 Eh, estoy buscando ahorita porque lo tenía página 15 página 15 yes, page 15 página en PDF. 15. ajá, aquí está encontró? Okay. sí, ya page yeah. 15, ahí está, ya mandé el mensaje page 15 <laughs> <laughs> Ya nos la puse en pantalla. Muchas gracias. Bueno, you're welcome. Ok. Bye. Aquí es de completar, ¿verdad? Exactly, yes. Bye. Bye. Let's help each other, ¿verdad? Ayudémonos, echémonos la mano. Bye. Comienzo. Sí, por favor. What does your sister do? My sister. My sister, she's a nurse. Mm -hmm. um, sería, 
what a, no. How? Sería. Siempre cuando esté el it, how. How. Uh -huh. how. How does she, how does she like, like it? Like. Like it? How does, how does she like it? How does she like it? How she like it? How does she like it's it? It's difficult, but it's, she loves it. Yeah, it's difficult, but she loves it. Like it. La entonación. It's difficult. It's, diffi it's diffi difficult. It's, it's, no, it's difficult, difficult, difficult. 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 It's but, difficult. Difficult. But, she, but loves she loves it. She loves it. That's great. Mm -hmm. Dif difficult es como neutro, pero no va a decir difficult ni difficult, pero es no que es difficult como no Difficult. Difficult. It's difficult, but she loves it. O sea, es algo neutro. Mm -hmm. but she loves it. Neutro. No. Ok. Uh -huh. Como lineal. Lineal. Difficult. Como flat, uh -huh. le dicen, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Plano. Flat. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. You, may, you may continue. Vamos a aquí, ¿verdad? Saltar, ¿verdad? De pétalo en pétalo. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. All right. I'll be back. All right. So, hello, hello. Hi, teacher. All right, you're working on this one, I believe. Yes. Yes. All right. ¿Qué les parece si lo hacen, no sé, eh, si ya hicieron más de uno, no sé, number one, two, or three? Eh, quizás eh, take turns, please. I don't know. Maybe Nelson, you can start with number one, and then Catherine or Juan Carlos, y así, ¿verdad? Y, and then you help each other, right? So I think that that's a better way to do so. O pueden ir, bueno, para, por cuestiones de gramática, quizás completamos un ejercicio completo cada uno, ¿verdad? Un ejercicio cada uno. Y después practicamos. You go, ok, yo soy A, I'm A, and then you're B. Just like that. If you, if you like it. Okay. All right. So, Nelson, if you don't mind, please. You, if you want to start, please. With okay. A, number one. What does your sister do? Mm -hmm. My sister, my sister, she snores. How does she like it? Yes. It is difficult, but she loves it. All right. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, it's difficult, but she loves it. It's difficult, but she loves it. If but you want, uh, Juan Carlos, you may continue, please. Okay. Number two, really. Yes, sir. Uh, number two, Seria, where, where does your brother work? Correct. In a, in a hotel, he's a front desk clerk. Oh, oh, how, how does, how does he like it? Mm -hmm. He doesn't really like it. He doesn't really like it, right? Yeah. Sorry about him, right? Okay. And Catherine, if you would like to help us, please. Si nos ayuda, por favor. Yes. How do you parent? Uh... Mm -hmm. okay. Este, mira la pantalla, por favor. Like, like ah. there, yeah. How does your parents? Yes. Aquí está. How do your parents? Catherine? How do the parents? <laughs> like, uh -huh. like their jobs. Correct. Yes. Continue. Oh. Uh -huh. Continue. Oh, they, I guess. I guess. They I like. They're like. They like them. Okay. I guess significa yo creo, yo pienso, yo creo, ¿verdad? I guess. I guess they like them. I guess they like them. Uh -huh. I guess, ¿verdad? Usted dice, um, tal cosa. I guess so, ¿verdad? I think so. Eso, eso pienso, eso, eso creo. ¿verdad? Eso me imagino. Okay, uh, so I don't remember. Uh -huh. Please. Okay. I, I don't remember. Um, 
Ahí no sé, teacher. Aquí le da el lugar. Entonces tiene que ocupar la pregunta del lugar. Uh -huh. I How don't will. remember. Officer. Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Dónde? How do you say How do dónde? How? No, ¿dónde? Oh, where? Where, where? Yeah, you say. Where, where, where? exactly. So, I don't remember. Where do they? Do. Trabajo o trabajar. Ajá, so, okay. entonces sería la pregunta, Catherine. I don't remember. Where do they? The work. Ajá, where do the they work? The... Uh -huh. and, y luego dice in an office in the city. Ok. Lo que pasa es que esta le tocó un poquito más difícil porque comenzamos al revés. Le preguntan, ¿le gusta, el, o sea, a tu papá le gusta lo que hacen en su trabajo? Y le dice, yo creo que sí. No me acuerdo o no recuerdo. Ok. ¿Y dónde trabajan? En una oficina en la ciudad. That's it. That's what they're saying over there. That's what they're saying mm -hmm. over there. All right. And then, Mr. Nelson, since you study first, You take it, please. Number four, Mr. Hernandez. Teacher, one question. Yes, sir. In, in el caso de, I guess, mencionó que yo pienso, yo creo. Me imagino. Y decir, I think, I think so. Yo pienso, o yo creo. Es Lo mismo similar. Es, es, similar. es similar. Yes, if I if if you say ah, yeah, I think so, it's the same. You say uh, I guess so, or I think so, it's the same, similar. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, well, example two. Uh huh. Um, what do you like it? How no, do you por, like it? no, porque le está preguntando la, el job, la ocupación. Ajá, ahí ya, ahí ya, le, ya, le, ya le susurraron. Pensé en vos. Está bien, yo creí que le estaba ayudando, Juan Carlos. No me fijé que tenía abierto el micrófono, sorry. That's great. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo le pregunta a alguien qué haces? Como el guaro. What do you do? Ajá, exactly. So you can say, what do, what you, do? you do? I'm a student, right? Okay. I'm, uh -huh. I'm a student. Do? I'm uh -huh. student. I see. I uh -huh. see. Where do you? No. Ahí sería like de... your class. Ajá, aquí le están preguntando, ¿y, cómo, ¿y qué tal las clases, verdad? ¿Te gustan o no te gustan? ¿Cómo te gustan, verdad? ¿Qué tal las clases? ¿Cómo sería? Verdad? En, el, en el caso anterior era jobs, pero en este caso es clases. Si, tra, si nosotros ocupamos lo mismo, ¿cuál, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Sería... Sería what, where, or how? Where? Eh, para que lo pregunta, ¿cómo te agrada el trabajo? ¿Qué te parece el trabajo? Ah, pues no, no sería where. Ajá. So, what is it? What is it? How do you, how, Ajá. How, how, do you, how do you like it, your class? Ajá. En este caso sería, how do you like your classes? Acuérdese que el eat, el eat sustituye a esto, las clases, a su profesor, ah, okay. a su jefe. How do you like your classes? How do you like? Your your classes. Classes. Y que te dice, son chivas, ¿verdad? Son buenas, son geniales. They, you know, como las de ahorita. They are great. <laughs> they are great. They, uh, I they're, like them a lot. They're great. They're great. They're, 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 they're great. I like them a lot. Me gustan mucho. Ok. They are great. I like okay. them a lot. So, keep on practicing, please. Uh, si gusta, nos saltamos a la última parte del snapshot para que You take turns reading para que leamos, ¿verdad? Así como lo acaban de hacer y luego you introduce yourself. Luego presenta your personal information. Da su propia información. ¿Ok? Ok. So I'll be back. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction. Of... Teacher, help us. Yes. Podemos retroceder, eh, César, sí. para que nos ayude con la tres. En esta. And the number three. Where do your parents? 
Oh, how do your parents like their jobs? Parents. Yes, how do your parents, how? How, how? do your parents? How do your parents like, like, like their, their jobs? Their jobs. Yes. Yes. Okay. Come on. And I don't remember how do they no, where do they go and work? Where do they work? Yes, where? Correct. Do they where work? do they work? Okay. In an office in the city. Yes. The thing is that on number one and number two, they start asking you what do you, right? Or what what does, right? It's like, what does your brother... Uh, no, in this what one, it's like, where, right? Oh, where does your brother... Do your parents? Mm -hmm. But but the, the, the answer gives you the clue, right? I'm a, like, for example, on number four, they ask you, what do you do or what do you do? I'm a student. What do you do? Right? I'm a student. I see. And I then see. your classes, right? ¿Qué te parece? ¿Qué te parece su trabajo? ¿Qué le parece? How do you like your classes? Exactly. How, how do you like your classes? And then you say, they're great, they're, they're, they're great. I like them a lot. They're great. They're great, I like, I like them, them a lot. lot. Okay. 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 Next. Exercise. Okay. Pronunciation, pronunciation, reduction of two. But let, let's... If, if I may interrupt you, eh, Raúl, let's do the images over there. Let's do the images. So, like, what you see in the images. Lo va, lo va a responder basado en tres preguntas. So, based on three questions. Like, where, what, and how. Where, what, and how. Where, what, and how. Uh -huh. For example, Rocío may ask you. Eh, so, Raúl, where does David, digamos que David is el, el accountant. So, David is the accountant. So, where does David work? And then you can say, okay, he works in an office. And then Rocio asks, so uh, what does he do? He's, he's uh, an accountant. And how, how does he like his job? Or how does he like it? How does he like it? All right. And you will say, I think, I think he, uh, I mean, he doesn't like it uh, very much or he, it's an stressful job. Okay, you have a lot of options in here. Uh, I'm going to give you, let's see, like two more minutes until 10.05. Until so we say goodbye. Okay. Um, Thank you. Okay. So I'll be back. Where do they work, Laura? What does she do? Does she, what does she, she do? What does she do? No, I don't know. What does she do? But he said that it was something like, like, she like. What does she like it? No, see, sí, cierto. What does? Ah, oh, no. How? How? No, how? Sí, how do? How, how, the thing, the thing is that. In, I'm sorry. In Spanish, in Spanish, we say qué le parece su trabajo, qué te parece tu trabajo, qué te parece en las clases, tu jefe, etc., etc. But in English, we say how. How do you like your job? How do you like the classes? All right. And right now, I may ask you, right? So I may ask, like Eduardo. Uh, I know that sometimes it's easy for you, right? Because uh, I know that, sir. So, but I can ask you, so how, how do you like these classes? And be honest, please. It's okay. No, no, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, so, and I may ask you, Eduardo, a personal question. So, how do you like your job? How, how do you like your how job? How do I like what? Your job. My job? Yes, sir. Well, yeah, it's very difficult, but sometimes uh, stressful, but I love it. Yeah, yeah. Love. all right. Yes. It's my career. So you so... may say it's worth it, right? It's worth it. You see, you may say that? Yeah, it's worth yeah, it. It's yeah. worth it, yes. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's why everyone, thank you, Eduardo. That's why you asked. So how do you like your job? Si no ha dicho usted a lo que se está refiriendo, diga. So how do you like your uh your boss, right? That's very personal, right? <laughs> so how do you like your, your co-workers, all right? How do you like your teacher, you know, me or somebody else, okay? So, uh, ya no hay tiempo. Let's go, back, let's go back to the main session and tomorrow we will continue with this. Pero aquí les queda el PDF so you can practice over there, all right? Um, so just one second.
All right, so uh, thank you uh, so much, everyone, for being here. We always go beyond, you know, uh, we raise the board, siempre vamos like the extra mile. Uh, so tomorrow we will review this, vamos a repasar esto, we will continue with this, pero entonces pensemos, start thinking about this, you know, what to say. Basémonos en tres preguntas, three questions. Where, what, and how, okay? And then think about what you will share with your classmates tomorrow. O sea, piensa en lo que usted va a compartir mañana, and then we take you from there. Ya tienen el PDF, which is this one. Entonces ya tenemos como, como ahead of time what to do over here. All right. Eh, mañana, acuérdense que toca práctica en la noche. Tenemos a Claudia, a Raúl, sir, Catherine, a Nayansi. Y esta señora eh, creo que no está ya en clases. Entonces puede alguien reengancharse, como decimos, ¿verdad? So that's for tomorrow. Ok, mañana voy a reforzar esto para que ustedes tengan una idea de lo que vamos a hacer. So hope you have a great night and see you tomorrow. All right. Goodbye. See you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.